I'm separating or getting divorced. Do I need to make a new will? If you're separating or have already separated or you're getting divorced and you're wondering whether you need to make a new will given your change of circumstances, then this is the vlog for you. Hi, I'm Caitlin Jenkins, the family law vlogger. One of the questions I'm often asked at an initial meeting or an initial phone call by a client who's separating uh, or is getting divorced, so whether people have been married or not, is whether they need to make a new will. To some extent, the answer to that question depends a bit on the circumstances at the time and whether, for example, you've already got a will. So if you're separating, whether, you've been, whether you're married or not, and you've already got a will, then I think the first thing to do is to dig out that old will and have a look at it and see what it provides for, because the memory can play some tricks on what you've actually said in your will. So first of all, dig it out. Get a copy from the solicitor if you did it with a solicitor, or dig out a copy if you've got one at home. Then you need to have a look at the provisions of the will and decide whether, either for the short term or the medium term or the long term, the provisions in the will are what you still want to happen. Sometimes when people are separating and they've had a look at their will, they decide that in the interim situation, so until things are sorted out for the long term, until they've decided what they're doing with money and assets and children and all of the other aspects of finances, that they just want to leave the will as it is because despite the separation, whether it's formal or informal, they want the same provision for their ex-partner or ex-spouse. And that's often the situation in the short term. If, however, you haven't got a will at all and you're separating or separated, or you have got a will, but actually some of the provisions seem to you to not be exactly what you want at this particular stage, then yes, you can make a further will. Now, that's more about choice at this stage rather than obligation. There's no legal obligation on you or requirement on you to make a will just because you're separating or to refresh your will. You can do so if you want to, but you don't have to. If you want to make a new will, then it would be wise to take some advice at that stage from not only somebody who specialises in the drafting of wills, because they're really highly technical documents, and so even if you use plain English and think that you're making the provision that you want, it could actually be interpreted in a different way. So if you want to make a new will or refresh your will, then I would suggest you get some advice from somebody who specialises in advising on wills. And I think you should also take advice on the implications for you of the fact that you're making a new will in light of your separation or a pending divorce. Because certainly in the context of people who are married and who are getting divorced, there are certain obligations that continue between you until the divorce is all sorted out and until the financial arrangements have been sorted out for the long term. So even if you're making a new will or a will to deal with the interim, you may want some not only advice on the drafting of the will itself, but also some family law advice just to check that you're not saving up a problem in case you were to die during that interim period and the will was then used. So yes, you may, the short answer is you don't have to make a will or a new will if you are separating or have separated or getting divorced, but you may want to do so. Then what about once your separation and the arrangements for all of that have been finalised or you actually got divorced and the financial arrangements for your finance have been sorted? Well, at that stage, particularly on a divorce, when you get your decree absolute, which brings your marriage to an end, you will usually be advised to make a new will to reflect your new circumstances, so actually being divorced rather than just separated. Indeed, on the certificate of decree absolute, it actually contains a note saying that you should consider making a new, a new will or making a will because divorce can affect an inheritance under a will already made. So it can affect the provision that you've made for somebody in an old will if you don't then change it when you actually get divorced. So overall, you don't have to make a will, new will or make a will when you separate or when you're getting divorced. It's advisable always to have a will to set out, set out what you want to happen in the event of your death. So you may want to choose to do so or review the provisions of an existing will. Having said that, once a separation has been finalised and or once you've actually got divorced, then yes, it is usually advisable to revisit your will and or enter into a new one to reflect your new status. As always with the Family Law Vlog, these are only very general comments and if you want advice on your situation, then you should take advice from a specialist family lawyer and respect of wills from a specialist wills and tax and trusts lawyer who will be able to advise you on the detail of your situation. My details and those of the Mills and Reeve family team and the Mills and Reeve broader firm who advise on the wills side of things are at the end of this vlog.